Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Perry Trade. So this morning I decided to um, create a brand new strategy. So the strategy is based mainly off the Keltner channel and the uh, Bollinger Band. So the Keltner channel is the blue line and the Bollinger Band is the yellow line. And also, uh, I'm also using the TSI indicator here. Okay. And so what happened, I drew this horizontal line on the zero line. And so basically when the line is below the blue line, that means it's um, in a um, uh, going down short position. And then when it's above the blue line, uh, the price is going up, All right? So um, really, if I, if I show you the, I ran the strategy at um, a market replay, all right, at 624. And I have it, um, I have it running from 930 to 11 and it stops trading and then it resumes trading from one to four. So I'm thinking around uh, 12 o'clock is lunchtime and volatility is usually low so you don't want to get chopped out so that's why I avoid that time frame. So it's uh, 9, 9.30 when markets open to about 11 and then from one to like four. So that's the trading time that I had applied on this chart here. So basically the strategy goes this way. Whenever the Kettner channel goes inside the Bollinger Band, okay, you're out of a squeeze basically. It, you know, it's kind of like a breakout basically. And so whenever you have, so, so if the Bollinger Band is outside the band, uh, outside the Kettner channel, right? Um, you're basically it's compressing right and so when it goes back inside when the blue line goes back inside then that's usually a breakout okay so um, for the strategy um, let me show you the uh, strategy that I created let me go to the okay so here it is so I'm just um, testing this so for now what I did the the condition is Keltner channel right the upper band uh, if it's less than the Bollinger Band so basically the upper band of the Keltner channel which is the blue line if it goes below the upper band of the uh, goes below the upper band of the uh, Keltner um, the I'm sorry let me repeat that again if the upper band of the Keltner channel crosses below the upper band of the Bollinger band, then you're actually out of a squeeze. It's considered a breakout, right? And that's what this um, action is here. And then the TSI, the TSI, you have to determine what direction is it going. So TSI determines what direction that you want to trade in, right? So if the TSI is the line if it's greater than zero then that means we're in an uptrend okay and then here I have this uh, the do the following conditions so basically what this does it, it draws the arrow okay it draws a green arrow and it will draw the arrow um, it will draw the arrow um, below the low of the bar and 20 tick offset all right so let me click OK and that's what this does here so um, once I'm done you press compile and then you apply the strategy to your chart and then you get these arrows here these um, these green arrows so you can see here I have these green arrows here. So the reason why there's multiple arrows because for each bar, you're applying the condition. Whenever the condition is true, then it paints a arrow, okay? Um, I can also uh, add a condition where it only paints one uh, arrow per condition, okay? Or you can also uh, have an arrow print once 
per direction, okay? But in this case, in this strategy, it doesn't matter because I have a 20 tick off, uh, a 20 tick take profit. So uh, when it goes into a trade, um, I have also a, um, I have a 20 take, uh, 20 tick uh, take profit. And then also I have a runner. I have a runner, it will just, um, as long as the price is going in my direction, it will just go, um, in this case, it will go up until I get stopped out. And then when a condition is also met again, it'll go in again and uh, take another trade. All right. So for this, this morning, I only tested just the upper band. So if the uh, upper band of the Ketlin channel goes below the upper band of the Bollinger band, then that means you're out of a squeeze. That's a breakout Then It enters a trade. Now I did not, I'm just testing this for now. I, 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 um, I will, after I've tested this and, and refine it, I'm also going to add another condition to. And so when the lower band of the Keltner channel uh, crosses above or is greater than the, um, than the uh, lower band of the Bollinger band, go into a trade. Okay, so those are two conditions for the long. And also, I'm also gonna create another set. Again, I'm taking it step by step, all right? So I'm gonna create another step, and another step will be the opposite direction going short. So as you can see here, that I don't have any short trades here. So let me show you the profit that was made. Uh, so the profit was made was 1,230, okay? That was from that was from uh, nine o'clock to 11, and then again from one to four o'clock, so 1,200. Now this can be more. So I'm gonna show you what I noticed in the trading and what I'm going to change, all right? So um, let me show you the trade, the actually the trade performance right here. So the trade performance so you can see here, I stopped at four o'clock. So I'm gonna have it resume again uh, on June 25th and see how, how how well it performed. So you can see here, a net profit 1,200, gross profit uh, 2,900. Here I lost 1,600. And you can see here, um, I had 19 winning trade and seven losing trades. And these are the long and short trade um, um, breakdown. And um, let's see what happened here. Winning trade, average winning trade 153, average losing trade 241, uh, largest winning trade is 975, largest losing trade. This is your um, largest losing trade is 505. Drawdown, well, your drawdown is right here. Max drawdown is 1100. So I'm going to try to eliminate this right here. And then, of course, your profit factor 1.73, which is pretty good. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. Let me show you. Let me uh, do some analysis here. So what I usually do, right? I look at the losing trade, right? So what I'll do is I'll zoom in, right? Let's zoom in closer. And let me minimize that. And see what happened here. I've probably gone too far back. All right, so here you can see I have my entry and um, my target was met here and I got stopped out here and then here I came in here, my target met and I got stopped out here, that's great. Here you can see here, remember I'm only going long, my condition is only showing a long condition. So here you can see that it entered long here on a down candle, on a red candle, which is a no-no, right? I'm thinking only because my condition was met here and it entered usually these Ninza Renko bars. Once your condition is met on the, the, the first bar, then it actually goes in on the second bar. So in this case, my condition was met here, then uh, it entered on this candle, which is the down candle. So what I'm thinking about doing is I have a condition where I can enter once this first candle uh, this is a signal counter that tells you this when your condition was met. Then what happened, I'll have a test to say, enter at the break of the, uh, um, 
will enter at the next um, break of the next candle, meaning that the next candle, uh, the 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 open has to be higher than the previous candle. Okay, so I can use that. Um, let's see what other condition I can use. I can also, um, yeah, the break of the candle. So basically, if the open is higher than the previous candle, then that is okay. So in this case, if that condition was was there, this would not have gone into this trade right here. So that would eliminate a loss right here. Let's see another one. Uh, this is okay. This is okay. Here again, my condition was here. My, my signal bar is here. Enter at the break of the next candle, meaning that that candle has to be higher. The candle that is going into have, the open has to be higher than the previous candle. So in this case, if I had the condition here, it would not have entered here. So I will eliminate a loss right there. Uh, what else? So I'm kind of showing you my analysis here. Uh, let's see right here. Entered long. Okay, this is good. Here, it entered long here. Why did it enter long here? I'm not sure. I think, you see right here, this is probably the signal bar and it entered long maybe four after bar. Because sometimes these Ninja wrinkle bars, sometimes the price goes like quick. Like you can see here, 1034, 1034, 1034. So this was a quick, um, by the time, um, by the time it entered a trade, the um, bars had already printed, three bars already printed really super quick in a matter of like seven, nine, you know, in a matter between set, like, like in a matter of like six, seven seconds, bar just painted here, you know? So um, that again, before, if I had that condition, well, I will in, put that condition in, enter at the break of the candle so it would not have gone in here unless this candle high or candle open was higher than the uh, signal candle whatever whatever that signal candle is here so I'm going to enter that condition and um, uh, watch my next video uh, the next video after this video to uh, to show you the update of, of um, the the uh, results so let me see let me go to another trade because rumor had seven losing trade and that is because of these reasons. Let me see. Uh, this one, yeah, yeah, this one was a long one. This probably was my long, um, long profit here. Uh, let's see what else. So remember, I'm only going long only. Um, so I'm not added a condition for short. That will be later. Uh, so here, let's see what happened here. Here again, it's entering in, it's entering long on a down candle. So this shouldn't be, this should not happen. Okay, again, I'm gonna add a condition and see if it will avoid this, um, these things from happening. Uh, so let me uh, go ahead and um, uh, add those conditions. Uh, this would be the the update would be on my next video. So watch the next video after this so you can see if the profit uh, If there were any changes in the profit so right now with this condition here uh, going long only with the upper uh, Keltner channel going um, below the upper of the Bollinger Band uh, I uh, profited 1230 so uh, check back on the next video and I will see you I guess on my next video. Bye now